Welcome and let's get started on your review for reporting category number five for your Algebra 1 EOC. So when we look at the calculator tips for reporting category number five, there aren't really any special things that your calculator can do for you, but you do need to remember that if you ever see f of x equals, g of x equals, h of x equals, that's just fancy schmancy for y, you can always plug that into y equals on your calculator. Then you can graph it. What does the graph look like? Is it going to show exponential growth, which looks like that, or is it going to show exponential decay? Because that's what um, reporting category number five is all about. It's all about exponential functions. So the other thing that you need to make sure that you can look at on your calculator is your table of values. So second graph will show your table of values. So always reference those in this category. All right, let's go through these. Looking, and there's only six questions in this category, so this should be fairly quick. Number eight, this is the 2017 version. The graph of an exponential function is shown on the grid. Which dashed line is an asymptote for the graph, an asymptote? A line that the graph will forever approach and never, ever, ever touch it or cross it. Well, which one is an asymptote? The asymptote that we th that we look at in Algebra 1 in the state of Texas is just this x-axis. The line is y equals 0. That right there is going to be h. Every other dashed line on here is not an actual asymptote for this exponential function. Let's go to the next one. Number 15. A particular type of cell doubles in number every hour. Which function can be used to find the number of cells present at the end of H hours if there are initially four of these cells? Okay, so in an exponential function, y equals a times b to the power of x, this a value is your initial amount. Okay, and then we're multiplying it times a number that is raised to an exponent. That's the exponential function that we look at in Algebra 1. So if the initial amount is 4, that means this a value is going to be 4. And if the particular type of cell doubles every hour, that means there's going to be exponential growth, which means this b value right here is going to be greater than one. Okay, well, let's see. We can eliminate this a because this is not greater than one. We can eliminate this one because that's not greater than one and that actually has a plus sign in it. Oh wait, c also has a plus sign in it. This is the only one that's in the same format. b is your answer. So eliminating answer choices is going to be key in this reporting category. Number 21, the population of Center City is modeled by exponential function f, where x is the number of years after the year 2015. The graph of f is shown on the grid. Which inequality best represents the range of f in this situation? Range, okay, that's our y values. Remember, y values. Anytime we see range, underline it, write y values above it, and then reread it. Which inequality best represents the y values of f in this situation? Okay, are there any that you can eliminate? Well, I can eliminate c. I can eliminate a. I'm looking at the y values. Okay, so what's it going to be? We're starting here, which is about 250,000. y goes up um, after that, so b is my answer. Okay. It's not, our range is not in between two values, it just goes up to infinity. So y is greater than or equal to 250,000. Number 31, a student used f of x equals 5 times 1.012 raised to the power of x to show how the balance in a savings account will increase over time. What does 5 represent? That first number in an exponential function is going to be the initial amount. 
So what are we talking about? The balance in a savings account. So when we go through these answer choices, the interest in a savings, nope, the annual interest, nope, the number of year, nope, the starting balance of the savings account. My answer is D. Let's go to the next one. We are rocking and rolling through these. The amount of fertilizer in a landscaping company's warehouse decreases at a rate, exponential, because it's decreasing at a rate, of 3% per week. The amount of fertilizer in the warehouse was originally 78,000 cubic yards. Which function models the amount of fertilizer in cubic yards left after W weeks? Okay. If it decreases at a rate that is a percent, that's exponential decay. So let's set up what this equation would look like. We know this is exponential because it's decreasing at a rate that's a percent. It's decay. We need to think of percents in terms of, in terms of decimals. So what is 3% as a decimal? It's 0 0.03 as a decimal. Okay. So my initial amount is what? Y equals A times B to the power of X. So Y is going to equal my initial amount. If it was originally 78,000, then that's my initial amount. It's increasing. Oh, I'm sorry. It's decreasing at a rate. So that's 1 minus, I subtract, 0 0.03 raised to the power of X. Y equals, when I simplify this, what is 1 minus 0 0.03? It's 0.97 raised to the power of x. Now, if you really struggle coming up with this, we know that exponential decay, this b value is going to be less than 1. Okay, so maybe I could eliminate some answer choices like this one or this one. Oh, I'm sorry. D is going to be less than 1, so I can't eliminate that one. Um, I can eliminate this one, right? Because that is not less than 1. Uh, this is not in the right format, but I have this right here. So 1 minus 0 0.03, your answer is going to be C. Moving on, last one for this 2017 version. Which statement about the graph of y equals 1 third times 2 thirds to the power of x is true? Well, if I go through, the graph has a vertical asymptote. Nope, it has a horizontal asymptote. The graph crosses the y-axis at 0, 2 ninths. Nope. There's my y-intercept, my starting amount. That's my y-intercept. So if that said 0, 1 third, that would be correct. The graph has an asymptote at y equals 1 third. Nope. The graph decreases from left to right. Absolutely. This number right here, this b value, is less than 1. That shows exponential decay, which means it will decrease from left to right. D is your correct answer. And that concludes reporting category number five, 2017 version.